Hi, and welcome to Meetings and Math. You are here for 7.38, Triangle Classifications. Our essential question is, how can I classify triangles by its sides and angles? Today, you will need your Jaguar Jots on 7.38, a pen or a pencil. You might find a highlighter helpful, your bright ideas, your best effort, and always your problem-solving skills. Let's begin with an introduction to triangles. Every triangle can be classified by both its sides and its angles. So let's look at its classification by its sides. And there's three different class ways we can classify by its sides. Scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. A scalene triangle has no sides congruent, where an isosceles triangle have two sides congruent, and an equilateral triangle has three sides congruent. As a side note, if a triangle is equilateral, it is also called equiangular, which means all angles are congruent, and each angle measures 60 degrees. We can also classify by its angles. When we classify a triangle by its angles, they can either be acute, right, or obtuse. Most of us are familiar with a right angle, triangle, but you may not have heard of acute or obtuse. An acute triangle means that all angles are less than 90 degrees. But when a triangle is a right triangle, it means that one angle has to be exactly 90 degrees, but only one angle. An obtuse angle means you have to have exactly one angle greater than 90 degrees. When we mark sides congruent, they're marked with a tally mark. And if we're marking them more than one, you'll put two tally marks things like that. And congruent angles are identified with these things that look like parentheses. So let's classify each triangle by its sides and angles. So on this first one, you can see that we have a exactly one that's equal to 90. And you can see that we have two sides marked congruent. So because we have exactly one side equal to 90, that makes it a right triangle. And because we have two sides marked congruent, that makes it isosceles. On number two, you can see that we have one obtuse angle and we have two tally marks marking those two sides congruent. So that makes this an obtuse isosceles triangle. On number three, you can see that we have no angles that are congruent and no sides that are congruent. You can also see that we have no angles larger than 90 and no angles equal to 90. So all of these angles are less than 90 degrees, which means they are all acute angles. And because no of the sides are equal to each other, it is a scalene triangle. I want to thank you so much for joining us in this very short lesson. And I want you to puzzle this out. Can a triangle be both an obtuse triangle and a scalene triangle at the same time? What do you think? In other words, I'm asking, can it have the qualities of being obtuse and scalene at the same time? What do you think? We'll be doing more examples of these in class. I can't wait to see you in class and be able to go over some more examples of these. Thank you so much for joining us in this lesson, and I can't wait to see you in class and in our next le video lesson. Remember, be kind to one another because we can all use some extra kindness in our lives. Bye for now.